it hurts to, you know, love someone so much and give your all to them, but they not reciprocate that in return. You know, it, I, I wanted a relationship where my the love was being reciprocated back to me and as much energy as I was putting into it, that person was putting it in in return. And um, I can honestly say T did that. T gave me all that and then some. I mean, I've really allowed, I've been allowed to be myself so much since I met him. Like, I feel like I had a lot of, a lot of me bottled up. I think that's why I'm so like touchy feely, like all over him all the time because I'm not the, <laughs> that's not that thing. I like I not had the opportunity to be able to give that to someone fully and they really receive it without it feeling like I'm forced to give it to you. I'm naturally able to give it to them in my own time, in my own way, or feeling like, oh my gosh, you're too much. You're over the top, you're dramatic, you're this, that, or the other. But that's just me and my personality and who I am. And he allows me to genuinely be me. And um, I'm just, I'm grateful because I had given up. I was like, man, look, if this is what I got to look forward to, I don't want any parts of it. You know, I, I'm good all by myself. I'm tired, you know, tired of the lies. I'm tired of the cheating. I'm tired, tired of the uh, the abuse. I'm tired of all of it. You know, I was over not feeling worthy when I was in a relationship. And I'm... Just, like, just to say that it's out there, um, don't give up on finding uh, finding love because that right person who's out there for you is out there. If you're in situations where you feel like you're not being valued as a person, um, your thoughts and opinion don't matter, where they feel you feel like you're trying to be something that you're not just to keep the relationship going, then it's time to revisit that. It's time to say, sit back and really look at you as a person and ask yourself, am I really truly being um, what true to myself? Am I really truly seeing my real worth? Am I being valued at the level I should be valued at? And really look at that as um, your, your driving force on whether or not you stay where you are in your funk, in the relationship that you're in, knowing that you don't want to be in it. Or do you, you know, it was time for me to, reevaluate where I'm at, my situation, my circumstances, and make some moves. Yeah, my heart goes out to a lot of people that struggle with that one. And you struggle with it, don't even know you realize you're struggling with it. That's the thing. It's, it's not something that comes overnight for some. You know, it, it takes a while before you realize your worth. Yeah. And really realize that you deserve better. Um, and it takes a minute, uh, especially when there's kids involved. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it takes a minute. Um, this is our my second. This is both of our second marriages, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I can say for myself, it took a minute. Not to you know interject on what you're no, saying. No, you're fine, baby. Have your life. Takes a minute. I, I, and my heart goes out to people that don't know it yet. But one day you are gonna realize you're like, man, there's got to be so much more out there. And I can honestly say this is the happiest I've been in my life. I mean, and it took a while and. Not to say to the other person, but it was a, a mixed match, you know, and I was always hoping it would get better. Yes. Always hoping. Yeah. You know, you always hear somebody tell you, uh, they're going to get, they're going to get better. Are you telling yourself, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're telling yourself they're going to get better, they're going to get better, they're going to get better. And man, as you're saying that years are going by mm -hmm. and sometimes decades can go by. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just don't happen. And then you really got to look within yourself. But I commend those that get it sooner. Yeah. If they get it sooner, right? Hey, that's great. Go for yeah. it. Yeah. You know, go for it or, or stay, you know, to yourself and figure out who you are before bringing somebody else into everything uh, that you may have going on or that you haven't re realized within yourself. Okay. So for you, like your full take on finding love mm -hmm. when you've lost hope. Like share your story on like how 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 it feels to be able to find that love. Like your full story on how it feels to be able to find that love. Well, I mean, you 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 know. You, I, I share mine. Yeah, I can think about it. Definitely oh, piggyback off of me, but yeah. You, you said you know how it is. You know, you just I, you know just kind of said stated it. You know that your fact of you're looking for you're expecting somebody to do what they say and that's what I said before and that's what I'm big on is actions speak louder than words and if you're 
just you're talking about it and then change never comes mm -hmm. and that's what happened it was so much you know of promises and yeah, you know, what yeah, they call yeah. that false promises i think pipe, that's what false promises, pipe, dreams. pipe dreams yeah i know i think my mom would say uh false false promises you know and you can't live on false promises mm -hmm. you got to live on action and um like my wife said, finding that work, man, and that's that, that's why I had to interject because it's like, <laughs> man, I I felt that one because I know that's how my life was, and then for so long it took a long time for me to understand that I worked more than what I was going through all the different relationships. And like she said, you gotta love somebody, uh, and that, you know she's not the first lady I love. But I mean, when you interact and enter into relationships, you you plan on loving the person. You don't yeah, just plan yeah. on getting the goods and that's it you plan on loving the person right and you plan on you know a longevity of life but as you mature and uh get older or uh circumstances come along and you realize more and more that uh, maybe this isn't just maybe i just don't want to settle here maybe this ain't it maybe I, there's more to this uh life and uh being with someone uh, than what i'm seeing at this moment you know and uh but if you have all that it's really wonderful i mean that's what we have yeah uh, uh you brought me so much joy and uh we, she's helped me i've helped her but I, I really don't know how to really go into the full story until uh, we're talking about certain circumstances our viewer, <laughs> viewers have certain circumstances and i can address those and i can uh, share tidbits of how we might have had well how about how what would you say to a person who feel like it's not for them. There's no love out there for them. They, you, you know, they're just going to settle and stay where they are and, and deal with it. What would you say to someone? I don't even know how to address that because some people have had different levels of hurt. Yeah. And man, it ain't nothing like bad relations and, and gone through hurt like that or, or false promises, but that, that's tough. Yeah. I can't really go and tell somebody that. I can just say that, you know, if you're hopeful about it and you're, you're you know, don't rush it. You know, take yeah. your time and then it'll, it'll come. It's normally when you're not looking for it. And yeah. That's what happened in our case. I wasn't looking for uh, Shantae and uh, then she came, you know, and it was amazing. I was going to work, uh, going to my uh, my faith. And then uh, I was really into that and raising my, my girl. And then uh, it wasn't about having anyone. I, mean, I really was. I was at him and I was finally petitioned to do the hair and <laughs> everything else in between. You know, if I had... Uh, uh, some friends or relatives that were uh, females that would know, I would hit and hit them up. Uh, but my mother was around enough to know uh, all the way to about uh, my daughter's age 10, I believe. I forget what age she was when that when she passed, but I was, yeah, I was about 12 years of age, so I had her all the way up to then, and so I could always ask some questions at different times. I had a grandmother that would maybe give me some advice, but mostly a lot of co-workers and a lot of uh, church members, things of that nature. And you have to be careful with a lot of things uh, because people try to, you know, us, us as men, they might try to come on to you and different things and you're making sure that you keep things in perspective. And then they don't know that you just want them for your daughter's sake, not for you. But it's just it's a challenge though to, you know, when you lost hope, I just hope that you all, you, that you stay open-minded. Yeah, open-minded, open-minded. Yeah, yeah. open heart, open-minded, and uh, you learn from the nieces and nephews, the cousins, uh, the people that may be younger than you, as well as the ones that are older than you. Yeah. Because they may um, know someone, or you may see something that you didn't see before, and you be like, hey, that can have that same kind of mm -hmm. good relationship. Yeah, and um, again, to piggyback off of you, um, no, I can't sit here and, and really say oh you need to do this 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 and this but what i can say in regards to someone who feel like they have lost hope like he was saying it's just don't give up on it you know granted what you may be in right now seems hopeless temporary. but yeah that right there is it's, it's temporary it's just you're, you're on your way up and out of it you're going through that test so you can have that testimony to be able to share with somebody else who may be going through some of the same things you're going through right now to help them come up out of where they are. But the, the thing is to stay the course, finish the race and get through the situation that you're in. 
as you sit and you try to discover who you are and figure out who you who what your worth and your value level is once you find that and you find that peace that peace of mind for you there's nothing no one can say or do or tell you any differently that's going to make you feel less than that. You know, it's not arrogance. It's not cockiness. It's just knowledge, knowing who you are, knowing your worth. And um, I feel like once we get to that point, being able to get to that point will help you to be able to really still have hope for it. Like some people aren't meant to be in a relationship. Some are. Um, I know that God has designed it for everybody to have somebody, whether it's a relationship as far as a marriage a, a partnership or if it's just a friendship God has designed it for you to have somebody he doesn't want you to do life alone no. so even if you find someone and, and they it's not someone on the level of love it may be on the level of friendship but you found someone that you can do life with to hang with to to go through life's ups and downs with that's that's the thing you know so if you feel like well God ain't meant for me to marry anybody well it's it's the mindset so Make sure we're focusing on not a negative mindset, but a positive mindset about it. And if it's not meant to be married to someone, but maybe be a good friend to someone that, you know, you never know like how your story is going to help someone else's life and really help them. So I say that to say is just don't lose hope, you know, really believe that it's possible to find someone that you truly, genuinely love unconditionally um, without a shadow of doubt, you know, and that, you know, you okay with doing life with that you know that you get the opportunity to do it with that's my take on it yeah it's like i said it's a it's a it's a, it's a sensitive one yeah i would say that yeah and everyone has to get there at their own pace yeah. there's no magic wand that you can wave over it there's no prayer that you can put with it um some people spend a long time uh trying to find that peace and their happiness so that yeah Definitely. And the companionship. Yeah. It, you know, I'm grateful that I have found a companion. I believe she's my last. Uh, and, you know, uh, you know, we don't know what life holds, but we do know that I'm enjoying the moment. As <laughs> we learned today in church. Yeah, because uh, tomorrow's not promising either. Yeah. You know, grateful, so yeah. we're just grateful to have each One other. One another, yeah. Grateful to have each other. Um, all right. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment yeah. section down below. Yeah. We will be addressing those yeah. questions yeah. coming soon to be able to answer any topics that you have um, about anything that we talked about. Um, we just hope that you are able to stay hopeful, stay encouraged to know that, you know, in due time, your season shall come. You know, don't give up hope. Don't give up on the opportunity to find the love that you're looking for, whether it be in a marriage, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be in a friendship. Yeah. I mean, it's right. there. Right. He is my best friend. Um, we do we, we do things together, a lot of things together. We have those commonalities. And I, I believe for it for you as well that, your friend is out there, whether it's a friend in marriage or a friend in just a friendship, whatever it may be, I believe it's out there for you. So just stay hopeful um, and stay encouraged through it all. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else, T? No, we just know that you can, if we did it, you can do it as well. Man. If we made it through, you'll make it through as well. Amen. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, we thank you guys for tuning in today. Stay tuned for next week's segment. We will be sharing um, just more life, love, and everything that goes along with it with you guys. Oh. Our insights, our topics, and being able to help you guys understand and see through uh, what a healthy relationship and marriage looks like. Um, and hopefully to help encourage you to find and look at, look for a healthy love and relationship for yourself as well. Yes. And okay. as always, stay safe. And everyone have a great week. Have a great week. Bye. See you. <laughs> That's not pillow talk. That's not pillow talk. <laughs> Why is it not pillow talk? It could be. Oh. <laughs> you ain't gonna be still long enough. No, you know I'm not. Not put that on camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You ready? Let's do this. 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 Let's do this.
You gonna do it. You gonna say when I when I say. Um, hey guys and welcome back to Pillow Talk. You say I'm T. I was trying to say it when you said last time. You didn't say nothing. <laughs> 